guys, what's up? Welcome back to another vlog. Today is Monday and I actually get to leave the house again today. I left yesterday because I had to go to the grocery store. But today I have to go get an ultrasound of my heart, which sucks because you guys know if you've been on my channel for a while that months ago, it does not feel like that long ago, but months ago last semester, I found out that my heart like has some problems. I mean, I always knew that like I was born with a heart condition, but now I found out that I have to get this checked every six months. I just can't believe it's already been six months. Anyways, I'm about to have my lunch, which is this yummy pasta salad from Publix. And I'm just gonna work on some stuff on my computer and my appointment's not until 1.45. I just got to my cardiologist office and I'm about to go in really, really, really hoping that everything is normal and they don't tell me that I need to get this surgery or something. Um, it's terrifying, honestly. And I can't believe six months has already gone by like since my last ultrasound and MRI and everything. I just can't believe how quickly that time has passed. Um, but here we are and Chad's working, so he couldn't come with me today. He came with me the last time I had the ultrasound done just because, you know, it's not like you find the results out right away, but it's still like a scary experience because I know that as soon as they tell me like my heart has changed enough, you know, right now it's moderate to severe. Like as soon as it gets to that severe point all the way, that's when I have to have a surgery. And um, I just hope that nothing's changed. I feel fine. So let's hope nothing has changed. But yeah, so I'm going in for my appointment. I will talk to you guys after. Update for you guys. I just finished my ultrasound and they have everyone wearing a mask in there, which I think is great. Trying to prevent the spread of the virus. Um, but it went really well. I didn't freak out at all. I didn't think I would because I already knew what to expect this time and, you know, it is what it is. I love the lady who did my ultrasound. She was just so sweet and just talked to me the entire time. Um, but I'll insert a little picture of what the machine looks like. It's pretty cool. It's very similar to what you see uh, if you're having a baby and like, you know, you get an ultrasound of your belly, except obviously this is for my heart. It was pretty cool. I felt like I was in AMP2 again because I was learning about all the structures of the heart and she was showing me like my ventricles, my atria. It was cool. So now we just hope that nothing has changed since the last time. I'm back home now. I've actually been back home for a little bit. And I'm eating these toasted coconut chips and they are so good. I know that like most people do not like coconut. I don't know why, but people like overall usually don't like coconut and I love coconut, like coconut flavored anything, coconut with my chocolate, coconut on like yogurt and bowls and stuff. I mean, so good. So these are an amazing discovery for me. I just found them at Publix when we were grocery shopping this week. about to go start dinner but I wanted to take a second to show you guys that I completely customized my Nintendo Switch and I'm so proud of how it turned out. I posted a picture on my Instagram yesterday so if you're not following me on there you should go follow me because if you're following me then you've already seen a picture of it. This is light pink, this is pastel pink. I got so many questions asking if the Joy-Cons were custom Joy-Cons and they're not. These are actually just vinyl 3M stickers that you can purchase off of Etsy and I will link a set below that is just like the ones I got. These happen to be from Sticky Bunny but I'm linking Etsy ones because Sticky Bunny's shop is currently closed. And I know a lot of you guys are gonna wanna customize your Switch now that you see that it's possible because I saw someone else with this and I was like, I have to do it. It's amazing, it's pink and I love pink. I will also link the little paw print thumb covers. I love these too and I also put a protective clear case on it so that way it's completely protected all the way around. You guys know my Switch has completely taken over my life, especially since Animal Crossing came out and then also just having been in quarantine, like it's all I do anymore. If you look really carefully, you can still see like the green in the corner and the pink over here. But for the most part, I mean, just for stickers, it turned out pretty good. So I'm just making some gnocchi for dinner tonight and then I'm having it with my favorite tomato basil sauce from Farm to Fork and I'm just gonna chop it with some of this Parmesan cheese. And that is it guys, very simple dinner. I don't 
even know how I am still awake right now. It is literally 1.13 a.m. I'm so exhausted. I just spent like two hours working on the post-lab data analysis and then taking a lab quiz. But it was my last lab quiz and then the final. So that was really nice. I have to let the dogs outside to go to the bathroom and then I'm going to bed so I will talk to you guys in the morning. Good morning guys, it's the next day and wow, I woke up this morning feeling so tired which is obvious because I stayed up late but I just didn't want to move or get out of bed or do anything. One of those days but I'm about to make some coffee and it's already like 11 something now so very late start to the day which is not what I should have done but when you stay up that late like it's kind of inevitable. I'm gonna make a pour over coffee this morning instead of doing like my Keurig K-cup thing. I'm using this Starbucks breakfast blend and I used to make pour over coffee like kind of a lot. It used to be my go-to way to make coffee because I didn't have a Keurig and I liked it to taste like a little stronger so I liked making these. But I haven't done it in forever so I told Chad I wanted to buy some ground coffee and actually do pour over. So here's a little pour over thing. Um, I'll link this for you guys, it's like 10 bucks. So I heated up eight ounces of water in the microwave and I'm just going to pour it over. So here's what it looks like. Seriously smells so good. It's definitely just like a stronger way to make coffee in my opinion. I'm just gonna add a raw sugar to it because I know this is gonna be pretty strong tasting. I feel like ever since this whole quarantine thing, I've just been experimenting and trying like different coffee every single day. So it's a little while later and I just got changed into my workout gear. Chad and I are gonna do a workout in the garage. So I won't be filming it. I typically only film my workouts whenever I'm working out by myself when I work out with Chad. I don't really worry about it because him and I work out in the garage and there's like really nowhere for me to set my phone up to record and we usually will run a lap around like the neighborhood obviously not going to record that so I do always post the workouts on my Instagram though yeah I didn't really vlog much today because nothing really happened I was having a really tough time focusing so Chad and I decided let's just go do a workout and come back and try again after we shower and everything just finished the workout and um don't mind all of this see this is the problem I was telling Chad like do you see that this my self tanner wearing off from sweating so bad. I'm about to make a smoothie, some protein, and then go get in the shower because this is gross. I'm like so sweaty. So here is the final product. It's so good. It takes less than five minutes to make and it's like a peanut butter banana milkshake. Just got out of the shower and I wanted to show you guys the stuff I've been putting on my lips by Kopari and I love this brand. This is what I named my Animal Crossing Island was Kopari. Um, but yeah, this is the coconut lip glossy and just like the regular one. It's super hydrating and glossy and it's not like sticky at all. I really like it. Kind of reminds me of my Laneige one. This used to be my everyday one, but it's like almost gone as you can see. So I got this one by Kopari and I really like it. I already ate, but I wanted to show you guys the tacos we got from a local Mexican restaurant. They're so good. They're just like Mexican street tacos and they have like Taco Tuesday where all their tacos are a dollar. So we ordered a ton of tacos and just ate our hearts out and they gave us like all this hot sauce. It was amazing. I saw this recipe online for banana nice cream because it's supposed to be like ice cream but it's healthy so the other day i chopped up two bananas and i put them in the freezer i'm gonna mix some oat milk and also some vanilla extract i never saved the recipe i just knew the ingredients i didn't really know how much to use i don't even think the recipe said that because it was just like someone sharing it on instagram it wasn't like a true recipe so i'm just gonna attempt this for fun and see if it turns out good
here is the final product the consistency is just like ice cream i just took a bite it's very banana-y but it's actually a really good alternative it doesn't taste exactly like ice cream though but it looks like it currently working on formulating a little study guide for my lab final and this is how it's coming along i'm basically just taking each lab experiment and putting any important formulas and then i'm going to go through the entire like lab manual and do all the post lab data analysis questions from my lab notebook and just kind of see like what i need to add to this that's important because there's not really a study guide for this so we're just kind of using what we got here and then i'm also using the pre-lab quizzes i'm so tired but i did this to myself when i decided to be lazy all day today so now i'm working on this and it's 11 13 p.m <laughs> Hey guys, so it's the next day and obviously I took a shower this morning just letting my hair air dry and I'm currently reviewing all of the labs that are going to be on my lab final. Just kind of like one last review and my lab final is actually today. I made a massive iced coffee and I'm almost finished. It gave me so much energy. Seriously just like helped wake me up this morning because I needed something. Um, I was struggling, not gonna lie. Today was one of those days, as well as yesterday. I don't know, this just seems to be the trend these days where I just have a difficult time waking up, but I should really get over it because tomorrow morning I have to get up at 4.45 a.m. because I work tomorrow. And so it's like, better make sure that I get some sleep tonight. That's gonna be rough, but I'm actually really excited to go to work, see what the latest is, and get out of the house, mostly get out of the house. Good morning, guys. It's an entirely different day. Um, today's Thursday and I'm in my scrubs about to go to work and fight off the coronavirus. It's currently 6 a.m. and I'm gonna go to Starbucks today and I am very excited because I haven't had Starbucks in a long time. I only go and get it when I go to work, so it's like my little treat when I go to work. Thought I'd do a little ER tech outfit of the day. These are the fig scrubs and then the joggers and my sneakers are these Nikes. I do not even know what they are called, but this is the work fit. I am back again. It's another day. It's actually the next day. So I worked all day yesterday. Um, my vlogs have been all over the place. I said this is my last vlog and I probably don't even need to say it anymore, but this is just how it's going to be while I'm in quarantine because like I just don't have enough going on in one day to film everything and then upload a day vlog or even like two days because it's just very sporadic. So I try to pick up my camera when I'm doing something that's worth filming, but I feel like it's just becoming increasingly more boring. Like my nights are usually just a few hours of me reading. Um, during the daytime is a lot of sitting around and doing schoolwork, which I try to film, you know, but yeah, it's not been that great. I'll give you guys a little update though of what the ER is looking like. So yesterday was like the slowest day ever um, and we're like supposed to be in season right now but because of this whole coronavirus thing it's just like super super slow. They ended up sending two techs home, two nurses home and i obviously stayed the whole time but it was um it was tough to stay that entire time because i just felt like there was nothing to do and then when we did finally have like a STEMI come in or any kind of priority patient really everybody just like jumped on it and so it was difficult to like actually help because nobody had anything to do so everybody wanted to help every patient but obviously we have to staff the er because it could turn around like that and then be really busy but it was uh, pretty slow, which is a good thing because that means people are staying home when they should be. Um, but it definitely like makes us wonder if it's going to get bad eventually, like especially after the 30th, if my state doesn't, you know, like continue the stay at home order and people start going out. Like, is this virus going to spike up and become way worse? And then, you know, the ERs will become flooded. I honestly don't know what to expect. But all things considered, yesterday was a good day but it was slow so I just like wasn't super busy and I'm the type of person that when I'm at work I want the time to go by like I want to stay busy and be on my feet and there wasn't a whole lot to do. I got this really cute set from Lululemon um it's just a matching set this is the energy bra and in the white color because I have it in black already and I love the black one so I decided to get it in white and it just has this crisscross design and obviously this dark color doesn't show but I love that they put that in there so that way the white doesn't make it see-through um it's awesome love lululemon and then these bottoms are the wonder under high rise in white and these are the full length ones so they're 28 inches because 
All of my lines are the 25 inches, so they come above the ankle. So I just wanted to get another full length pair of leggings. And I thought a white set would be fun for the summertime. And you know, if I ever get to go back to the gym. It has been just such a rainy and gloomy day today. So I've had no desire to do literally anything. I am changed in to my workout clothes. Chad and I are gonna go do a garage workout and it's like 75 degrees, which is not hot at all here. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, gives me something productive to do, but then I'm gonna spend most of my evening catching up on schoolwork. I actually have one assignment to do for genetics and then an online quiz and an online mastering chemistry homework to do for chemistry. And then the rest of the weekend is going to be all just studying for finals. So we just finished our workout and I posted this on Instagram. So if you guys ever wanna see what workouts we're doing, I've been posting them on there pretty much every single time. And when I work out on our back patio, then I always record it. This one I didn't record, but it's all right here if you wanna see. And I have it saved in a highlight titled home workouts. So you can refer to all of my home workouts since I've been in quarantine.